So today we're gonna to be talking about some practical strength programming tips that you can employ with your training to hopefully take you through the plateau that you're currently experiencing or take your training to the next step. And today specifically what we're gonna be talking about is frequency. Frequency for us here at Melbourne Strength Culture ticks two massive boxes in terms of training and progression in training. The first is it actually helps you develop the skill uh, of each and every lift. So if you take a squat, someone that squats once per week, you get 52 exposures per year of the squat itself. So you have 52 opportunities to improve at the skill of squatting. If you then double that frequency into a two times per week frequency, you've now doubled the amount of time and doubled the amount of exposure you have to increasing the skill of that lift. So actually developing the skill of squatting. We know that technical proficiency or how well you actually execute a lift is a very big determinant of how much weight you can move. So the more experienced squatters, granted that they're squatting with good technique, but the more experienced a squatter is, ultimately will mean that they can squat more weight. There are gonna be genetic factors, but someone that's been in the game for a longer period of time under sound programming, that person is going to actually be able to lift more weights purely because they are more proficient at the skill itself. So this is the first box that increased frequency gives to us. And that is it helps you develop the skill of expressing the strength in the particular lift. The second big box that it ticks for us here is it increases the amount of total volume that you're completing throughout the week. We know that total volume or sets times reps times weight is a massive part of building muscle and progressing your physique. And that is ultimately going to help you move more weight because a larger cross-sectional area has more potential for you to lift weights. It's not gonna ultimately mean that 100%, if you get bigger, you will get stronger, but a bigger muscle has more potential to lift more weight. So by increasing total volume, as a result of increasing the frequency, Hopefully over a period of time, we can build more muscle, which will then allow us to move more weight. So they are the two big parts of our programming that we see beneficial by increasing frequency for a specific lifter or a specific lift in a training cycle. So now that we've gone over the benefits of increasing your training frequency, uh, it's important that we touch on how you can actually start to structure your training program to implement this higher frequency training. So today we're gonna to go through one example of how you can increase your squat. We're just gonna take the squat from one day a week to two day a week frequency, and then even further from a two day a week if you're currently doing two days a week to a three day a week frequency. And for that, we here at Melbourne Strength Culture use a rep bracket approach. So we're gonna go through that now. So as you can see at the top here, we have two different rep brackets. So these just represent how many reps per session. So we have a four, five, and six. So a three rep bracket and a four, five, six, seven, eight, or a five rep bracket. So there's three reps in this first bracket and there's five reps in this second bracket. We recommend that if you're moving from a one day a week to a two day a week frequency that you choose a three rep bracket. So we're gonna take this first one. So day one and day two for our first example. So if we take squats on day one, so we've got squats. Day one is gonna be our heavy day of squatting. So this will be our heavy focus, which means we're gonna choose down the lower end of the rep bracket. So we're gonna do four reps. Day two for us here is gonna be our light, our lighter day, which means our higher rep day or our volume day, which is gonna be the higher end of our rep bracket, which is a six here. So this is gonna be our light day. So by six. So you can see here that our heavy and light day focus is determined by how many actual reps we're doing. Obviously a higher rep day would mean a lower weight day and a lower rep day would mean a higher weight day. So the rep range determines our intensity. So now we have to work out our volume and for, to, to, to determine how much volume we're doing, we're gonna use our sets. So we're gonna use our reps to determine intensity and our sets to determine volume. So what you need to do with your program design is you need to look at how often you, or how many sets of squats you were doing in a one day of week frequency. So let's take an example of four. So now we're gonna try and increase that volume across the two days. So for that, we're just gonna take a small step up to a six sets per week, which will be three sets on each of our heavy and light day. 
So now we have a small structure starting to build. On our heavy day, we're doing three sets of four. And then on our light day, we're doing three sets of six. We recommend that if you want to increase your volume, that you first increase your volume on your lighter day. So that is you drive the sets up on your lighter day. So what we could start to do is, as your program starts to progress, and you might hit a little bit of a plateau with increasing weights in that six rep range, what we can do is we can increase the sets on that lighter day so that the volume drives up again. So now we're starting to see that progressive increase in volume, sets times reps times weight across a week, across a training cycle, across a full program, and how that is going to progress from program to program to ultimately make you stronger and bigger. So this is how you can go about progressing uh, from a one day a week training frequency into a two day a week training frequency. So now we're going to take it a step further and show you how you can actually progress from a two day a week frequency into a three day a week frequency. So for that, we're just going to add on to this program that we have already. So now our lighter day, this is still going to be light day, sorry. So now we have a heavy day, a light day, and we're going to open up into a moderate day as well. So that will be in between the, the heavy and the light day. For this, we're also going to open up our rep range across the week. So we're going to take this five bracket here. So now our lighter day is going to be at the right, the bigger numbers of this bracket. So our four by eight is our light day. And our moderate day is going to be in the middle of this bracket, which is around about that six. So we're going to do it a three by six. So now you can start to see how we're structuring this three days per week of squatting. We have a high, a high intensity day, a heavy day here at three sets of four. And then we have these two sort of volume days where we can start to drive the volume up. One a more moderate weight at three sets of six and one a more uh, a lighter day at four sets of eight. Coming back to our rep bracket up the top here, we can also see how we can progress up or down the scale to either increase intensity or increase volume, depending on what we're trying to achieve in the specific program that we're in. So if we wanted to increase our intensity, we'd simply just move down this bracket. So our three sets of four will stay around about there, but this set, these sets of eight might come down to sevens, so we might do four sets of seven, and this might come down to three sets of five. So the weight will go up. If we wanted to increase it, uh, the total volume of this program, again, we recommend increasing the volume of your lighter days before you increase the volume of your heavy day. So this could be four sets of eight, so we might simply take this to four sets of six, and then five sets of eight, as we drive that volume up across the whole program of squatting. Another great way that you can then start to vary these three separate days is adding variation into the actual movement itself. So not every single day has to be competition style squats. You might have a competition style squat here on your heavy day, but then these two lighter days might be some sort of variation. A pause squat, a high bar, a front squat, an SSB, a box squat, whatever you can utilize to target weak points in your training or your squat itself. However, that's a topic for another, another video of another day. As always, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video helps you understand frequency and training and how you can actually set up a higher frequency training block with your own programming. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections below. We also have all links to our website, social media and email in the description box. So please feel free to follow us there. As always, thank you for watching. Happy lifting and welcome to the culture.